Well, you guys got another video here for you. Just a quick one on Windows 10 update is causing more mayhem and causing problems by hiding a user profile and deleting their data, which isn't very good. Some people are saying they're getting freezing on the screen, which I covered yesterday. And some people say they're getting a black screen and all their data is disappeared. So this is another major concern for Windows 10 users. They really need to pull their finger out and absolutely get this right because it's happening every single update that they release. Now, if you want to fix this, go to control panel by typing control panel inside the search box here. And if you're using the category, just go to uninstall a program here down the bottom. If you're using the large icons or small icons, you need to go to programs and features. Go inside here. And once you're inside here, you can then go to view uh, installed updates. Pretty straightforward stuff. Just look for the culprit which is causing the problem and it's this one here KB4532693 and it's a known issue with that particular type of update. Microsoft know about it and they're trying to resolve the issue. So what is the main problem? Well the main problem was Windows 10 uh, renamed the main user profile uh, folder and basically put all their data into a folder ending in .000 or dot back. Uh, some people have said they've managed to get their data back uh, via going to a temporary folder and pulling that data back. But some people have said that they've lost all of their data, which was stored on their desktop. So if you've got a folder on your desktop with some important documents, some people have claimed that they can't get that back and it's now gone. Now again, if you're one of these people that are now paranoid about updating Windows 10, then you may want to delay that update and try to delay it as long as possible or completely block the updates altogether until you know there's a real good known uh, working Windows 10 update that works really well. So you can see here there's options available. You can see there's an optional update available for me for 1909. I did update that and guess what? It caused major problems for me. So I'm not going to update that again. You can pause for seven days, which really isn't long enough. You can go into the advanced options here and you can change a bunch of settings in here to uh, basically delay the length of time that it takes before they're going to start uh, giving you another option to uh, uh, install those updates. And the way you can do that here is down this little area here where it says uh, select date. You can see temporary pause update. So you can do this for a longer period here, longer than seven days. If you wish, you can go in here and select your month. So I'm going to go all the way down to the 25th, uh, 2020 of March. Also, we can choose when our updates are installed. So a feature update includes new capabilities and improvements, and it can be uh, differed for this many days up to 365 which is a nice little added feature, which means you can um, sort of make that 365. And again, this is up to 30 days. A quality update includes security improvements. It can be differed for this many days, which means uh, 30 days. So that's the way I want to set mine. But you can change these to your needs and your requirements. Now, again, not all people like to uh, pause their updates or freeze their updates for a period of time. You might want to completely stop them for, you know, six months at a time or a year at a time or whatever it may be, or permanently. You might be happy with, say, 1903 and you don't want to upgrade for another year. And you can do that with the Stop Updates 10. So you can use a little program that will actually stop that and stop it from upgrading. You can use Group Policy Editor. I've made videos on this. If you want to see another video, an updated version of how to stop Windows 10 updates permanently, then let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Also, let me know in the comments section below whether this update has actually affected your Windows 10 operating system. I'd just be surprised how many people that it has affected. Now, also remember I did a video yesterday which is part of the same update, but a different number. So you may want to uh, remove that one as well because that is a known issue if you've got that on your system. This one actually causes a problem as well. So uh, you may get black uh, desktop. That's another thing that it causes and all your data gets missing from the taskbar and start menu and stuff like that, that all gets emptied. So anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Uh, resume normal videos again tomorrow, hopefully. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button 
and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.